Functions, Chapter 7, an extending question, or maybe what you might call a level 4 question. So in a geometric series, you're given that a plus b plus c is 35, and a times b times c is 1,000. Now, if you recall what a geometric series is, you have a, and to that you're adding a times r, and the c term would be a r squared, right? So each time we're multiplying by r. So we multiply r and then we multiply by r two times, so r squared. And if we put that into this formula here, a, b, c, we'd have a times a r times a r squared. That's going to be equal to a thousand. So what we want to do is we want to be able to get rid of one of these variables in this equation so we can solve. Now, if we expand this side, you'd see a times a times a is a cubed, and r times r squared is r cubed, so that makes this 1,000. And a cubed, r cubed is the same as a times r cubed. And if I take the cube root of each side, I would get a r is equal to 10, which is the cube root of 1,000. Now, from this a r equals 10, I can make two little equations a is equal to 10 over r, and r would be equal to 10 over a. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go back into this equation, and I'm going to substitute in for um, as much as I can from, from this side here. So I have two little, three little things here. And I have this one, I have this one, and I have this one. But I don't want to get rid of my a's. I want to substitute in for r. Now I do have an AR here, which is the AR here. So that makes it easy. I can just put in a 10 for that. So I have A plus 10 plus, now AR squared is the same as A times R times R. So I'm going to put in 10 for my AR and my R, I'm going to put 10 over A. And that's going to be equal to 35. So now I'm just going to simplify this. Um, I'm going to bring everything over to the left side. It's going to end up being a quadratic because I'm going to need to get rid of this a from the denominator. So if I multiply by a here now, I would have a squared. 10 minus 35 is minus 35 times a, of course. We still multiply times a. And 10 times 10 is 100. And we've cleared the a by multiplying through by a equals zero. I made a little mistake here. It's 10 minus 35 is minus 25, right? Okay, so now I want to know what multiplies to 100 and adds to negative 25. And you probably would figure that out pretty quickly. So if I do minus 20 times minus 5, I would get 100. And if I add those together, I get minus 25. So that gives me a minus 20 and a minus 5 is equal to 0. So we have two solutions for a. It could be 20 or it could be 5. Now if a was 20 and I'm multiplying by something and then adding that together, so I'd have to have a times r and then a times r squared. This is going to grow pretty fast, so it's highly unlikely that my a is 20. So I'm going to go on the assumption that a is equal to 5. So we'll say 20 or a is equal to 5. Well, and it's actually because it's both to solve this equation. So now I want to say, well, um, what? how would I find b here? How can I find b? So we know that a times b times c was 1,000. Let's write that out over here. a, b, c is equal to a thousand b times b times c and um, if a is five so if i went five b c equals a thousand then that would mean that b is equal to a thousand divided by five c or two hundred over C. So now I've got 
B is 200 over C, or I could have said C, so B is 200 over C, or C is 200 over B. Okay, so now that I have that, I need to put in into this equation. I can use this one up here and get rid of one of these variables. It could be the C or the B, your choice. But let's say we're going to solve for B, because if I find B, then I know what I multiplied A by to get B instead of solving for C. So let's substitute the C by 200 over B. And I know what A is. I'm going to say A is 5. So I'm going to bring this equation down here. And I'm going to say, oh, okay, so I said A was 5 plus B plus C, which I'm going to call now 200 over B, is equal to 35. And you can see what's happening here. I've gotten rid of all of the variables except B, which means now I can solve for B, right? So I bring the 5 over here. So let's do this. Um, well, I guess we could make it a quadratic. That would probably be the best because they're going to have a b squared. So let's do the same thing we did up here where we multiplied through by a and simplified. I'm going to multiply through by b. So if I multiply this b, I'm going to have b squared. And I'm going to have 5 minus 35 is minus 30b and plus 200 is equal to 0. So now what multiplies to 200 and adds to minus 30? And you'd probably say minus 20 times minus 10, right? And minus 20 plus minus 10. So those are going to be part of my factors here. So I'm going to have b minus 20 and b minus 10 is equal to 0. So that again says b is either 20 or 10. Now if I put in b is 20, I'm going to get way over 35 too quickly. So we're going to stick with the lower number again. So if we say b equals 20 and b equals 10. So you can see if I had a is 20, b is 20, I'm already over 35. So let's go with the b is 10. And I'm going to say, well, if b is 10, that means that I now have this geometric series. I had um, A was 5 plus 10 plus something equals 35. Now, if I go from 5 to 10, that means my R, this says R is equal to 2, right? So the next number here in my series would be 10 times 2 is 20. And lo and behold, 5, 10, and 20 add up to 35. So that means that my A is going to be um, 5, my B equals 10, and C is equal to 20. Now you might want to double check that to see if A times B times C is 1,000, and you have 50 times 20, which is 1,000. Right? So 5 times 10, oops, paper slipped, times 20 equals 1,000, and so we've got our answer. Okay, so I hope that helps you out a little bit if you have uh, such a challenging question on your unit test.